Oh, hey, cabin, coffee, trees. You might think I'm in the mountains, but actually I'm in the low country on the beach, Myrtle Beach. If you think this is just a beach, you got another thing coming. It's time to gear up, hold on, as we show you what they call the Grand Strand. Welcome to the first of a two-part series at Myrtle Beach, covering 60 miles of the South Carolina coastline from the North Carolina border to the Low Country, just south of Pawleys Island. Our first video will show Myrtle Beach city limits and some of North Myrtle Beach. Then next week we'll show Greater Myrtle Beach, including Little River, Cherry Grove, more of North Myrtle Beach, the South Strand areas of Seaside Beach, Garden City Beach, Murrow's Inlet, and Pawleys Island. Myrtle Beach has become an ideal getaway for those in the north that want to thaw out from the cold winters and for those from the south seeking a cooler breeze from the hot Florida beaches. Like Goldilocks, for many it is just right. Vast entertainment options for people of all ages. A place to explore nature and its beautiful coastline. A variety of lodging, camping and beautiful resorts with the beach on one side and amusement parks on the other side. In this video, we'll start North Myrtle Beach, show some unique animals at Alligator Adventure. We'll take you to two huge entertainment villages. First, Barefoot Landing, set around a lake with open-air restaurants, breweries, play areas, games. Then Broadway at the beach with an amusement park, zip lines, museums. we we'll take you inside an aquarium or you can crawl through a tank with exotic sea life. Take you on a wild and crazy jet boat ride. Show two other boat tours along the Intracoastal Waterway. We take you on the famous Myrtle Beach Boardwalk and Promenade, where there is more amusement, a sky wheel, Pier 14, the Second Avenue Pier, and further down, Family Kingdom Amusement Park. We'll show you six different mini golf courses. We'll tour Myrtle Beach State Park. Myrtle Beach is known for its great food, yum yum. With several seafood buffets, we show two good vegan cafes and more. So come join us as we explore the Grand Strand by helicopter, by boat, by drone, by bike, by foot, and by horse. Well, kind of. I saved a table for you. Can't you just see the sunshine? Can't you just feel the moonshine? We're going to South Carolina. It's a Myrtle Beach travel guide. Let the fun begin. It is sunrise at the 2nd Avenue Pier on Myrtle Beach. Due to the northeasterly angle of the coastline here, it provides a nice setting for sunrise photography with a pier in the foreground. I prefer that over filming the sun rising and setting straight out over the ocean. Adds more character and depth to the shot. Being our KOA was just under a half mile from the beach was a quick trip to view the morning sunrise. Myrtle Beach has a lot of options for lodging for both campgrounds and beach resorts. One of the most convenient resorts is the newly renovated pet-friendly Westgate Oceanfront Resort, located a half a mile from the 2nd Avenue Pier, which is the south end of the Boardwalk Promenade. There is a lap pool, lazy river, heated pool, and water play area here. I found rates pretty reasonable compared to your typical beachside resorts of this quality and being right in the middle of everything. It is ideal if you have kids, because they are across the street from the Family Kingdom Amusement Park that has over 38 rides, including a classic wooden roller coaster, the Swamp Fox, as well as a steel roller coaster, the Twist and Shout. There are also go-karts, a log flume water ride, bumper cars, and a slingshot drop zone, where you free fall from 110 feet. It is about $36 with tax for both children and adults. On-site parking is $9, so by staying at the Westgate, you don't have to worry about parking. We decided to stay at the KOA, as you saw me at the beginning of this video. It is also close to Family Kingdom Amusement Park, only a half a mile. Of course, they have full hookups for RVs. They also have a wide variety of cabins. I chose this basic smaller cabin, which in early May was as little as $75 per day. Of course, late May through September, you're going to pay more. They also have more luxurious cabins, many with a full bath with tub and shower. 
some with a swing bench on the front porch or hammock in the front of the cabin. I did a cookout the first night with these electric burners. Makes cooking out very easy. I put a link below, highly recommend them. At this KOA, there are plenty of trees. Makes for a great atmosphere to have dinner or enjoy early morning coffee. Also a good size outdoor sink for cleaning and plenty of washer and dryers. Golf carts available for rental as well. Let's get started with our tour of Myrtle Beach. We will come back to the Second Avenue Pier and the boardwalk later in the video. But for now, we are gonna head north and do our tour heading from north to south. We start at Alligator Adventure, adjacent to Barefoot Landing in North Myrtle Beach, one of the largest facilities for reptile life. <laughs> While it's called Alligator Adventure, there are a lot more than just gators here. You will find African ostriches. They have an average lifespan of 30 to 40 years and can sprint over 43 miles per hour. There are massive turtles. squirrel monkeys, spotted hyenas, bobcats, mountain lions, snakes, owls, Chilean flamingos, and of course a variety of crocs and gators. There are live shows, alligator feedings. It is $33 for adults and $23 for children 4 through 12. Two sweet ladies here, subscribers of ours, they recognize Bella. Next door to Alligator Adventure is the Duplin Winery, a rustic wood-clad venue with tastings that let you sample over 10 pre-selected Duplin wines. A $15 deluxe tasting includes gourmet cheese dip, homemade crackers, and a glass of wine after the tasting. Barefoot Landing is a pet-friendly dining entertainment village with boardwalks over the lake and around the lake. Several restaurants with outdoor seating, well, this is not as big as Boardwalk at the beach. I would say, though, this is better for outdoor dining. There is the Land Shark Bar and Grill with American Grub and Tropical Drinks. It's called Barefoot Landing, so I thought that meant you go barefoot. But it seems Bella and I were the only ones that were barefoot. The Alabama Theater, where you can see live shows with dancing, singing, comedy, and big name concerts. The Flying Fish with Southern Seafood Favorite, Sushi, and Creative Cocktails. Taco Mundo Kitchen and Cantina with Mexican cuisine. Lulu's beach theme restaurant with all kinds of activities. Cornhole in the sand, a challenge ropes course. The Crooked Hammock and Brewery, a brew pub in a family picnic style environment and backyard inspired food. So you can see plenty of things to keep the kids occupied while you enjoy a nice dinner on the lake. Now, I couldn't find a horse ride in Myrtle Beach, so I figured this merry-go-round would just have to do. On the other side of the Intracoastal Waterway, across from Barefoot Landing, is the Barefoot Queen Riverboat Cruise. A 90-minute lunch cruise is $40 for adults, $25 for children, 3 through 12. Or a two-hour dinner cruise, $60 for adults, $30 for children. Five miles southwest of Barefoot Landing is the longest wooden pier on the East Coast. The Apache Pier, 1,206 feet long, was built in 94 as part of a very popular family campground complex. From Memorial Day through Labor Day, there's live music from center stage that is under the big yellow pagoda halfway down the pier. Croker's Restaurant and Snack Bar is on the pier for seafood burgers, hot dogs, and beer. There's also an arcade. You don't have to camp here to enjoy the pier. Just enter the campground and tell the attendant you would like to go on the pier and they will direct you toward the parking area. Now in Myrtle Beach city limits, the Carolina Opry Performing Arts Theater and the Pirate's Voyage Dinner Theater. Aha, matey! where you'll experience timeless tales of pirate crews, mystical mermaids, in a performance with stunts and a four-course dinner. Tickets range from $49 to $55 for adults or $24 to $30 for children three through nine. Or how about a pirate cruise? Nine miles to the southwest, you can go on a 90-minute cruise aboard the Blackbeard pirate ship. All hands on deck! 
It is $28 for adults and kids, $13 for toddlers, one to two. Cleave him to the brisket. There's the landing at the Boathouse Grill to get a bite to eat or drink before or after your cruise. Jet ski and boat rentals available here with Myrtle Beach Water Sports. About a mile and a half south of the Pirate's Forge is a really good vegan eatery, the Kind Belly Cafe. It's five miles north of the Skywheel, but worth a trip. I arrived just at closing, but Linda here, nice enough to make me a good goddess wrap. They also had these Pure Bliss bars, which are awesome. On this Saturday night, all the restaurants were packed. I didn't want to wait two hours for food, so I had these Pure Bliss bars and nuts for dinner. They also provided a good healthy snack for our trip up to the Poconos as well. I took my wrap straight down 79th Street to the beach. Found a little access point to eat my lunch on the beach. There's only about four parking spots here, but there are several other little access points like this one along North Ocean Boulevard. Here, a nice boardwalk to the ocean with benches on the boardwalk. A nice little place if you want to enjoy the ocean, but don't want to deal with the big crowds. This wrap filled with all the healthy organic ingredients and vegetables to give my body good energy on this busy day. Two miles down on North Ocean Boulevard is Gardens by the Sea, a little park with picnic tables, a playground, and is wheelchair accessible. Myrtle Beach has several mini golfs. A mile south of Kimbella Cafe is Jungle Safari with waterfalls and life-size animals. It is 11.50 for adults or 10.50 children 4 through 10. After 6 p.m. add a dollar. Two miles down Highway 17 Business is Treasure Island Mini Golf, a pirate themed course with hills, palm trees, lakes amidst colorful rock formations. Across the street is the pet friendly La Quinta Inn. Another mile down Highway 17 Business is another pirate themed course, the Spyglass Adventure Golf, just a couple of miles from the Sky Wheel. It is $12 for adults, $8 for those under 12. This is a large course with holes behind a big waterfall. A little over a mile further south is Captain Hook's Adventure Golf, two 18-hole courses that incorporate Peter Pan characters, from pirates to mermaids to Tinkerbell, an impressive course with caves and waterfalls. $11.50 for adults or $10.50 kids 4 through 10. After 6 p.m., add a dollar. There's still a couple more mini golfs to show you, but for now, let's go to Myrtle Beach's number one attraction. Broadway at the Beach is a must stop in Myrtle Beach. It's the downtown Disney of South Carolina. I'd recommend experiencing it both in the day and at night. The Ripley's Aquarium is here. I was impressed having been in many Ripley's museums. This was better than expected. Impressive sea life and tanks. There is a little glass tunnel where you can crawl under the tank. I think it's for kids, but I couldn't resist. You can stick your head out in a little bubble in the middle of the tank for cool pictures amidst penguins. There is also penguin encounters for an extra charge that allows you to touch the penguins in a 30 minute session. Also stingray encounters available too. There are touch tanks for jellyfish and stingrays. For general admission to the aquarium, it is $37 for adults, $25 for children 6 to 11, $13 children 3 to 5. There is also a little glass bottom boat adventure over the dangerous reef for an extra $10. Discounted tickets available that also include the other Ripley's Myrtle Beach attractions. Like Wonderworks that is also located at Broadway at the beach. That features 100 hands-on plus science exhibits plus laser tag, a ropes course, and a 6D motion ride. Wonderworks by itself is $32 for adults, $26 for children 5 through 12. Take his arm on the when you're ready. Good to go. Combo tickets available on the Wonderworks website that also include the Soar and Explore Zipline and Outdoor Ropes course. The Zipline by itself is $20 per person, or a combo with Ropes course is $29 per person. There is also rock climbing, a bungee trampoline, duck paddle boats, a leisure boat, 
And for an adrenaline rush, try the Beach Rider Jet Boats. These are New Zealand style jet boats. They are $23 for adults, kids under 12, $20. No reservations required. The driver makes it a thrill ride. Hold on. Hi. I'm riding with Jeremy, Dre, and Jay, visiting from Sumter, South Carolina. <laughs> For more amusement, there is the backstage escape games, in the mirror maze and vault laser maze. When it's time for food, feed the fish. You have several restaurants with entertainment, like the Crocodile Rocks Dueling Piano Bar, the American Tap House, and of course the Hard Rock Cafe. As the sun sets on Broadway at the beach, the lights at the Pavilion Park light up. This is the theme park with the observation wheel and over 20 family-friendly rides. It is actually two parks in one. First, the action park for the adrenaline lovers. And second, the fun park for those who want to chill at a slower pace. An all-day pass is $38.50. Or you can just pay $1.75 per ride. The observation wheel is $10.50. Ran into followers of ours, Lewis and his wife Kate, also YouTubers. They have their dog Sasha with them, doing the right thing by carrying their dog in a pack. And you're thinking about moving to Sarasota? Yeah, yeah. we're thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Either Sarasota or uh, Fort Lauderdale. Just a half mile west of Broadway at the beach is the Broadway Grand Prix, a recreation complex with seven go-kart tracks, rock climbing, top rides, and mini golf. Next to that is the Hollywood Wax Museum, where you can take pictures with your favorite stars. $27 to $33 for adults, and $17 to $18 for children 4 to 11, depending on the season. Further down is Myrtle Waves, South Carolina's largest water park. They are open from mid-May to mid-September. General admission is $37 if you are over 4 feet tall, or $27 if under 4 feet. Ages 2 and under free. There are two major helicopter tour companies in Myrtle Beach. We'll show both. There's Helicopter Adventures just a quarter of a mile from the Wax Museum. I chose Helicopter Adventures because it flies right over Broadway at the beach. They advertise rides as low as $20, as does Oceanfront Helicopters, the other tour company. But for any kind of a decent tour, you'll have to pay more. They show you a map in the office that shows where each tour goes. I chose a middle of the road tour called Dunes Adventure, which was $80 per person and $7 of tax added as well. This tour goes 18 miles. You can take a tour that goes all the way to Barefoot Landing for $130 per person. It goes north along Highway 17 in the Intracoastal Waterway, then turns to the coastline and heads south along the shoreline. Because of this, I'd recommend being on the right side of the chopper for a better view. I always like the front seat, but for this ride, couldn't get a great video of the shoreline. Not a big deal, because most of the shoreline I can use a drone with FAA permission through the Air Map app. Just wanted mainly to show you the experience of riding the helicopter tours here. The other helicopter ride is Oceanfront Helicopter Tours, located three and a half miles south of the Skywheel. They have nine different tour options. Rates I think are pretty similar to helicopter adventures. I believe Oceanfront Helicopters heads out to the ocean first, and then they head north along the shoreline. So probably with them, the left side of the chopper would be the best view of the coast. Check with them to make sure though. Another good vegan eatery is Earth Cafe. Located a couple of miles north of the Skywheel. They have breakfast, omelets, pastries, wraps, and salads. I ordered a falafel wrap. As we head towards the boardwalk, there's the Mount Atlanticus Mini Golf, a huge tiki theme mini golf with two 18-hole courses, one of the courses fully handicap accessible. Across the street from Mount Atlanticus is Myrtle Beach Zipline Adventures with an aerial challenge in ziplines 600 feet long where you go 40 miles per hour, some free falling. We have arrived at the center of Myrtle Beach at the boardwalk. Next to the volleyball courts is the Oceanfront Bar and Grill, a longtime mainstay eatery of the boardwalk, with open air seating and patio dining. Makes this a great place to enjoy meal and drinks. Also a good website for ordering your meal, to just pick up your meal and go. You see, this is why you need a dog backpack. 
Don't put your dog through that. Get a Kurgle dog backpack like I have. I put a link in the description below. I ordered fish tacos. It was delicious. The boardwalk has been refurbished with these colorful planks made of recycled plastic, but made to look like wood. It is currently 1.2 miles long from Pier 14 to the 2nd Avenue North Pier, but will be extended to 3rd Avenue South, very close to the Westgate Resort. Another good spot to eat is Dirty Don's Oyster Bar and Grill. There's also Mo Moon serving eclectic bar bites and killer tropical drinks inside a pineapple or a fish bowl. Every boardwalk has to have an arcade. The Fun Plaza has retro arcade games. You purchase a fun card for the arcade games at this ATM machine. I'm trying some skee ball. Yes! A DJ jamming at Plyer Park, where there's outdoor concerts next to the Sky Whale. Only service dogs allowed on this wheel, but the observation wheel at the boardwalk at the beach is pet friendly. It is $17 for adults, $13 for children, 3 to 11. Includes four revolutions lasting 12 minutes. There's a VIP gondola that is $55 for adults, $36 for kids, with a glass bottom floor, and you get double the flight time and plush leather seats. Pier 14 is at the northern end of the boardwalk promenade, a three minute walk from the sky wheel. The Pier 14 restaurant and bar offers some of the best views of Myrtle Beach, a full menu with seafood burgers, tacos, and pasta, with a dining patio right on the pier. Also a full service bar for tropical drinks. This pier, originally built in 1926, has survived several hurricanes. The pier has a cleaning station, benches, plenty of seating. Ran into three play Jay who loves to fish here. Well, what do you think of uh, Myrtle Beach? I love it here. I moved down here for it. An elevated seating at the end of the pier. Just a great place to relax and enjoy the view. There's a live cam on this pier. I put a link in the description below. Across the street from the Sky Wheel is the new Funplex, opened in 2021. This is a tropical theme amusement park with seven different attractions, a beach bar and grill. A day pass is $36 per person, or one week pass is $99. Also on the boardwalk, a long-standing landmark of Myrtle Beach, the Gay Dolphin, the largest and most unique gift shop on the beach. South of the volleyball courts, the boardwalk turns into a paved promenade all the way to the Second Avenue Pier, where we begin with the sunrise earlier. So let us have some fun, fun. Oh God, you know we're one, yeah. two of us, one on one. Yeah. Leave it up when you can, can. Oh. This pier was recently renovated after being damaged by Hurricane Matthew in 2016. The end of the pier is still closed, but the rest of the pier is open. This is another good pier for fishing. The Wicked Tuna, a highly reviewed chain restaurant with seafood steaks and sushi, located at the base of the pier. Our last mini golf is the Jungle Lagoon that is located next to the KOA. It is $9 for adults and $7.50 for children 5 through 12. Now let's head south and explore more of the nature of Myrtle Beach. Five miles south of the Sky Wheel is Myrtle Beach State Park. It is $8 for adults, $4 for children 6 through 15. This is one of four oceanfront state parks in South Carolina. We'll show another one in next week's video. There are cabins available here for camping. I put a link in the description below. Also a nature center with trails, a beach, and a pier. I ran into Paul and Renee escaping from the cold of West Virginia. <laughs> and now here we are, it's 75 degrees. Uh, the ocean's beautiful, the beach is awesome. And, and the park is great. We have some beautiful seashells here. So we love <laughs> coming to the beach. Paul and Renee are not the only ones migrating from the north. You'll see plenty of birds and wildlife. There's ADA crossovers here. No pets allowed on the beach between 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. May through Labor Day. This pier is really nice, very wide, excellent for fishing. You'll find king mackerel and red drum from May through November. Redfish and sea trout July through November. There's an opening in the center of the pier for bait buckets. 
There are many seafood buffets in Myrtle Beach. This is the original Captain Benjamin Seafood Buffet. It was $50, but they allow you three large containers plus one small container. I only used two containers because me and Bella could only eat so much. It would have been easily enough for two people. And the staff extremely friendly and helpful. Their hush puppies were out of this world. I could eat about a million and a half of these. Next to Captain Benjamin's is the Track Family Fun Park with two elevated go-kart tracks, blaster boats, a spinning coaster, and a Fat Daddy Arcade. Another restaurant for Middle Eastern food is this Jerusalem restaurant and bar, an impressive plush dining room. They were good about taking an order over the phone. Just a warning about food in Myrtle Beach. On Saturday, all the restaurants and eateries were packed, easily an hour to two hour wait. But on this weekend, on Sunday, was much, much better. So for Friday and Saturday nights, you might want to make reservations ahead of time. In filming beaches across this country, I can't think of any beach that has more variety of things to do than Myrtle Beach. Sure, the foundation of an exceptional beach getaway is a great beach itself. And the South Carolina coastline certainly has that. But when the sun sets, you need other entertainment options. And this is where Myrtle Beach has really excelled and continues to make improvements. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Myrtle Beach in the comments below. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel promos across the USA. If you would like to hire us to film your city, region, or area, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. We are not done with the Grand Strand yet. Next, we explore the greater Myrtle Beach region, where we will show you even more things to do, including several boat tours, an island of goats, a marsh walk, and more nature. More good info so that you can do more than just come to Carolina in your mind, but actually really physically come and check it out. Blessings to you, wherever you may be.